The pace car heads for cover alongside car owner Stan Burtz riding on the pace car here today in his final as a car owner. Green flag is out and we're underway at Thompson and it is Ronnie Silk to the bottom that jumps out ahead of Justin Bonsignor. In this early going, yeah, that's right where Silk wants to be, but Austin Beers is trying to spoil that party as he dives down low into turn number three. Austin Beers pretty aggressive out of the third spot in the early stages, but it is Ron Silk who picks up that championship bonus point for leading a lap early on the opening circuit. He leads across the start finish line, but off turn number two, Eric Beers able to put the nose to the inside, and they are dead even across in turn three. Now able to clear him. The 64 gets up in front of Silk and speeds across the strike. He will lead lap number two. Can he make it stick while the uh, top is open? Jake Johnson will take advantage of that and drive on by. He picks up a spot, finally gets around Bonsignor. Tremendous speed out of Jake Johnson. Now he tries a crossover move to get underneath Ron Silk. This is a battle for the second spot. Here comes Jake Johnson sweeping down to the inside, and he gets the spot. That will negate any kind of passing uh, until uh, this point where Bonsignor decides while that bottom is open after passing the lap car, he'll occupy that space, drives down underneath, and drives around Silk. And Silk doesn't give up much of a fight there. There's still a long way to go. Yeah, when there's one opportunity, when one hole opens up, Johnson's going to go for it, that's for sure. Staying right there on the back bumper. Now he takes a look to the inside as they head down the back stretch. Fears a little bit out of shape off turn number two. Anthony Nocella, the number 92, running his lane to the bottom. That doesn't leave a lot of room for Jake Johnson. Johnson thought about making him three wide off turn four. He had a roll out of the throttle, thinks better of it, goes to the top. Bobby Santos scored his first ever wheel modified tour victory at this event in Thompson Speedway many years ago. He was driving the three car old blue when he got the job done that day. And now it's Jake Johnson at the wheel who will challenge the race leader Austin Beers to the top, trying to use Bobby Santos as a pick. Side by side, racing for position, the 13th spot between Anthony Cecily and the 44 of Bobby Santos. That allows Jake Johnson to lead at the line and take over the top spot momentarily in the battle for the lead. Yeah, this is a great race right now. I think Beers thought that that Santos would get around Cecily a little quicker than he has. They've remained side by side, lap after lap. Johnson decided to go with the outside. Now he cuts back down in front of Beers and is clearly the leader as they negotiate their way around the lap traffic. He was not going to allow Austin Beers an opportunity to drive back to the bottom. Jake Johnson with forcefulness, taking the race lead away from Austin Beers, quickly gets by Anthony Cecily and Bobby Santos, and he's got clear racetrack ahead and closes in a little bit more. High entry again for Bonsignor in turn one. And he crosses right over this time to take a look at the bottom underneath Beers. He'll drive underneath down into turn number three and make the pass. And he's had a fight with some of this lap traffic. Meanwhile, directly in front of him, trouble. One of the cars has gone around. It's the 19 car of Anthony Cecily who spins 82 laps into the World Series at Thompson Speedway. Anthony Cecily brings out the caution and Jake Johnson leads the way at Thompson. Meanwhile, the three car, a bit of a slow stop for him. Justin Bonsignor exits pit road. He will be the first off of pit lane. Defending race winner, Eric Goodale on the bottom. Green flag is out. Ron Silk pushes Justin Bonsignor to the race lead. It's Eric Goodale now for second, and Silk stuck behind Goodale, trying to battle for third. Jake Johnson on the move in Old Blue number three. Looking inside of the former race leader, Austin Beers. Beers trying to pinch him down off turn number two. Johnson digs. They nearly come together on the back straightaway. Eric Burt now a factor in the one car to the outside. Johnson continues to try and make it work. We see them bounce off of each other, and that's going to turn Beers and take Burt into the wall. Beers goes around Eric Burt. A victim of circumstance directly behind a hard lick to the right front on that one car here in the late stages. Green flag is out from atop the flag stand at Thompson. Justin Bonsignor gets away quickly. He'll bring Craig Lutz with him. And behind him, Jake Johnson, three wide down into turn one. He'll pick up another couple of spots. Now he looks for fourth underneath Eric Goodale on the 58. They had a pretty good battle there between Silk and Craig Lutz as they were bouncing off of each other on the backstretch in that battle for third. But Johnson digging deep on the inside, going for more. To do it before, and he's got a clean racetrack. Here is Ron Silk taking over the race lead here. 43 laps away from the finish, but Justin Bonsignor now darts to the inside of the back straightaway, pulls to the bottom lane as they run wheel to wheel. And he takes it right back. 
they head out of turn four and down the front stretch. Silk right there on the back bumper, basically pushing him down into turn one. The adjustments that Phil Moran made under the pit stop seem to work well for Ron Silk. His team gained him four spots on pit road, and now he's right in the mix again with Justin Bonsignor, who's trying to sweep the season races here at Thompson after winning in, in August earlier this summer. But it's Bonsignor out in front to the back bumper is Ron Silk. Some of the fastest laps of the race being clicked off right now by those two front runners as they stay right together. Here's Silk with a peak down to the bottom into turn three. Silk runs that bottom lane. Bonsignor will let him have it. He pulls now to the bottom with a crossover move trying to draw alongside. Keeps a wheel to the bottom as they come through turn one. Bonsignor digging to the bottom. That's the kind of racing these guys live for. Back and forth, nose to tail, inside, outside, and they're doing it again as they head into turn three. Ron Silk has opened up a healthy advantage for the race lead. And he is starting to run away with it. Here's Ripkema up the hill, now pushing into the back bumper of the three car of Jake Johnson. And we've got trouble again. It's Sammy Ramu into the outside wall on the front straightaway. Matt Swanson is in it. Multiple cars involved here, and the caution is out for the fourth time today. The championship contenders of Ron Silk and Justin Bontenure going toe-to-toe -to -toe here on this late race restart. Green flag is in the air, and they're back underway. Silk again darts right out to the front, and they're side-by-side -side for second. Johnson runs a high lane, but trouble deeper in the field. The 32 of Tyler Ripkema into the outside wall. Both drivers up on the wheel, elbows up as we get ready for another restart with 12 laps to go. Bontenure better on this start, but no, he's not. He gets knocked out of the way. Here comes Ron Silk, powers on by, and Justin Bontenure, the championship point leader, is slow in turns one and two. Yeah, trouble there for sure. Don't know what happened, except that uh, he got ganged up on when the green flag came up, and he is uh, just drop kicked back several spots. Bontenure is now up to speed, but he joins at the tail end of the field probably a transmission problem on the 51 of Justin Bonsignor, but that'll put him back in 17th on the running order. As Silk now opens it up by two car lengths. Ron Silk will come to the white flag, this time as he comes up off turn number four. Final time around for Ron Silk, and he's got now four car lengths back to the second place, Jake Johnson. Yeah, Johnson threw everything he had at it, but unable to get up there and contend for the win. Ron Silk trying to capitalize on the misfortune on that late race restart for Justin Bontenior, and he does all he can here today, and Thompson scores his sixth ever victory at Thompson Speedway Motorsports Park. Ron Silk in the 16 team, the winner, and will take over the championship point battle across the line, and 13th is going to be Justin Bontenior here today, and Ron Silk takes one step closer to becoming the 2023 NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour champion.